Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be looking at another upscaling video using artificial intelligence. So here we have the clip of the John F. Kennedy inauguration that I recently just found, really good quality. What we're gonna do first is run it through the denoise to get rid of any blockiness or any fuzziness, any blurriness. And now the denoise is on, you saw the little swipe go by. So it does look a little bit better. But what we wanna do first is go back to the original resolution. So we're gonna scale it down and now we're going to actually upscale the resolution to a higher resolution to 4k actually so now we're going to scale it in so you have a better idea what that looks like and the next thing we're going to do is run it through frame interpolation and we're going to be able to watch this back at 60 frames per second now you can notice the people are kind of moving around nice and smoothly so actually this unedited video of this john f kennedy inauguration is is completely unedited. I recently just found it the other day and I'm really happy that I was actually able to find this because it has such really good quality. It was a really good scan. Um, so it makes it easier for the AI software to um, give some good results. And with this, we do see some really, really good results. And the 60 frames per second uh, push through actually makes it look interesting too. It's just really weird seeing that this is the 60s and now we're in the 2020s and it looks like this was shot the other day. It's just a, a kind of a different color grading, so it seems like it's really old, but yeah, interesting stuff. So I'm going to shut up here, listen to some of the speech, and uh, check you out in the next video. You, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. That you will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of your ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country.